uh, hi, hello there. Long time, long time, long time. Um, hey, it's me, me again, Ashley, you know, in case you forgot, because it has been a bit of time. <laughs> you know what I feel like right now? I feel like that girl who went and got a man and disappeared off the face of the earth and just like ghosted her friends. And then when her and her man broke up, she comes crawling back. Hey, oh my God, girl, it's been forever. I miss you so much. And you find out she went through a breakup and you're like, damn, damn, she really did that. Huh? Except there's no man, <laughs> there's no man. I'm single as a Pringle, been single as a Pringle. Pringles aren't really single because they're actually in tubes filled with other chips, but um, don't really know where that saying came from, but I'm single. Anyways, so um, pretty much I have been gone for quite some time now and I feel absolutely awful about it. However, I don't feel that awful, I'm, I'm kind of lying, because I had to prioritize my mental health and disappear for a minute not just from YouTube honestly from like everything and everyone I kind of went ghost on my friends which is not nice and not cool and I probably have a lot of phone calls to make and I've just been like super distant from a lot of people except for like maybe like three people that I actually enjoy talking to and spending my time with and not to say that I don't enjoy talking to and spending my time with the others I do it just takes a little bit more out of me you know, but there's some people in my life that I just feel like I don't really have to do much. I just have to be present and that's enough for me. So other relationships and YouTube make me feel like I have to give more of myself, which isn't always easy when you barely have enough to give to yourself. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So here I am in a car with AC that's not working today for some reason. It's like, it works every single day, except for the day that I can't open my windows because I'm filming a video, so I need AC, and like today it's just like, mm, just like don't feel like working. Guarantee you, it's gonna start working soon. But just not right now for some reason, which is making me a little bit, I don't know, hot? Um, anyways, so, hey, hey, how have you been? <laughs> long time, long time. Um, oh, how have I been? I'll tell you, shit. So basically, when did I last, oh my God, so much has happened, my goodness. Um, do you guys know about my new job? Do you know about Jamaica? Do you know about uh, my new plans? Do you, do you know anything is what I'm wondering. I don't, I don't think so, so let's catch up, yeah? Let's catch up. We're gonna grab a nice coffee. We're gonna have a little chat. Um, and right now, I'm going crazy because my AC's not working and I, I need it to work now. Um, What is going on? Why aren't you working? July is probably my last update. It's almost September right now. Um, I don't really remember what happened in July. I just know that that's when my laziness started. Like, I would, here's the thing. I would get up, set my alarm, get ready, put my camera out, charge the battery, and tell myself I'm gonna film a video, but then I would end up lying on my couch, staring at my phone for hours, telling myself I'm gonna get up in a minute, I'm gonna get up at 8.05, okay, so 8.10, 8.10, I'm gonna get up at 9.30, oh, 9.35, you know, you know those ones? So I kept telling myself I was gonna do that and I'd end up lying on the couch for about, I don't know, hmm, seven hours, my screen time was like 10 hours a day, like it was actually embarrassing how bad it was. I was on my phone, on TikTok, doing a whole lot of nothing for weeks. I would think that I was gonna film and I would plan to film and then I just, I just wouldn't. And it was really getting to me because it was then this constant cycle of like, man, I need to get up and do something. Man, I'm gonna get ready to get up and do something. And then I would just sit there saying, I'm gonna get up and do something for hours. And then I'd get mad at myself for not getting up and doing anything. And now I'm depressed because I'm a lazy piece of shit. And it's just like this cycle that just kept going, you know? So I was just really just upset with myself and depressed about external factors and just like going through a whole lot of emotions and laziness and just, I don't, I don't know, I just wasn't okay. Um, so in between that, um, I guess there have been some updates. So I got a new job in July. So I'm working at a dispensary, another dispensary that's way cooler than the last. Um, this is not my forever at all, but I'm enjoying working there for the time being. Wow, this air is just getting fucking hotter. Oh my God. I'm enjoying working there for the time being. Basically, it's a, 
chill spot like you know it's it's a place that doesn't feel like work um i'm cool with all the employees like i feel like we're not you know we're cool um i like everybody there's a backyard speakeasy lounge where everybody goes to hang out and they do like events and live music and thrift store sales and dj sets and it's like really fucking sick and then the front is just a chill spot where everybody just pops by to say hi and tell everybody about their business at the store and it's just like a really okay you know what i picture it as have you guys ever watched high fidelity you know how like rob simon and sharice all work at the record shop and it's like they're not really working because they're all homies and like everybody just like chills and it's just like a fun chill spot like that's what my work is like except actually more chill than that um and because i work downtown like there's so much around so like on my break i can just go like you know grab a coffee and and do, i guess anybody can do that but it's a cool spot um i enjoy it doesn't feel like work it's cool after i got hired i actually was right in the middle of starting a series that i was creating for my other channel so long story short it's sick it is amazing i'm so proud of it and it's a series that involved a whole bunch of people and it's so good it was like six episodes filmed it all in like three weeks and just so much happened you know so much happened it was so fun and I got to know so many people and reconnect with so many people and it was a good time so that took up three weeks of my life so like although it didn't seem like I was like working on my channel I was um, I was filming some videos for the other channel that are not released yet but they will be so that was so cool I felt like a producer I felt like a director I was calling the shots I felt like Wendy Williams because I was like interviewing people it was so cool um, I absolutely loved it and then after that i went to jamaica so yeah oh i also got a cat have i mentioned that on this channel i don't think so yeah i kind of have a cat now i'm co-parenting with someone and it's nice it's really nice having this little furry friend his name is shy he's the cutest thing ever and um he brings a lot of joy to me when I'm sad because it's just like how can you be sad when there's a kitten you know but he is kind of big now he's like eight months so there's that I keep thinking this air is gonna get cold and it's, it's just not it's just not can you just fucking work with me? it's just hot air like it's literally fucking hot air I'm to turn my car off on <sighs> dear god please just fucking let this AC work bro God, I'm so frustrated. It's so unfair. It's like I try to I try to make content. It's like Okay, so here's the thing. I'm annoyed right now. Let me tell you why. I don't usually like to bring this energy on my channel, but it's like it has taken all of me to set myself up to film a video today. Like, let me just get real and raw with you because I I, I haven't been on this channel for the past few weeks because I've just been a depressed mess. Um it has taken all of me to just get up and film today. Like, I, I did my makeup again. I, I, I did it all. I got in the car. The only reason why I'm getting a nice coffee right now is so that I could film a drive with me and I could film a video and get a coffee, bring the coffee home, film some more videos when I get home. And, like, I'm really trying here to stay positive and just tell you about my cat and about vacation, you know? And it's just like, fuck, man. Why is the AC not working? <laughs> you know? My AC works every single day. My AC works every single day nothing's changed i used my car yesterday the ac was working the funny thing is i never use my ac i never use it because i love fresh air i love windows i love the breeze and my hair I, I just i love it all you know so i don't really use my ac also sometimes it smells a little like really really gassy and i feel like maybe it's like emitting some fumes that might kill me so i just like don't really use it all the time except when i film a video because when I film a video, I can't open the windows because if I open the windows, the audio is fucked up. It's like the day that I decide to film a video, why, why does the fucking AC not work? Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. I take it for a second, please. Uh, no. I can't today. I'm gonna get a medium vanilla iced coffee with extra ice. Large and medium at the same place. Oh, large, large iced coffee with extra ice, please. Thank you. Anyways, so it's like, not to be a negative Nancy. Also, fuck the name Nancy. Fuck that name. Long story. We'll get into that one day. Um, I... <laughs> I'm just, I don't know why life, like why the universe just throws challenges. It's like, sometimes I feel like it's like, 
the devil's trying to break me or some shit because it's like I finally get up off my ass and I, and I actually film the video that I say I'm gonna film, which I haven't been doing. Like I finally do it. And it's like, let's make your life so much harder by making your car a fucking sauna. Let's make your car a sauna. Let's let's see what that, let, oh, it's, it's working. It's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> To be fair, I've been in this car for 20 minutes and it hasn't been working and it usually takes two minutes to work. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, cool, so let's talk about this in a more rational manner. Okay, then we'll, we'll do a catch up eventually. Let's talk about this in a more, wow, that feels good. Ooh, that feels good. That feels good. Yeah. So now that I'm calm. I find that lately I've been in a state of mind in which it it doesn't take much to like kind of break me down okay and what I mean by this is like I have been struggling I've been struggling as I've, I've made very clear and with this struggle um, I've just found that like hold on let me focus for a second I've been struggling and I find that with this struggle like because I'm already not in the right mind state to be creating when I have a minor inconvenience like that's all it takes for me to just be like fuck this I can't do this you know and because of that it's led me to to not make content and to be kind of lazy and just now like although I started ranting um, mentally I was like fuck it this video is gonna turn into something else Maybe it'll turn into a rant. Maybe it'll turn into a lesson. Maybe it'll turn into something mentally. I was like, I'm just going to keep it going. And I chose not to turn the video off, which normally in, in these situations, I definitely would have turned the video off by now. I would have turned that camera off the second I got in my car and realized that my AC was not working because I, I've been in that state where I'm so sensitive to any inconvenience that like I would just be like, fuck this. I'm, I'm off this and like, I'm done. So... I don't know, maybe the universe was just pushing me right now to see if I'd fold, and I didn't. Yes, I cracked under pressure and I lost my shit. You saw that. Let's make your life so much harder by making your car a fucking sauna. Let's make your car a sauna. But I kept going, I kept going, and um, I guess you guys just got to witness a small moment of mine that feels like a little bit of growth, you know, because uh, lately I have not been okay. I have not. I have not been okay. Um, wow, this video is taking a turn. <laughs> I'm crying under these glasses, oops. Um, just like a lot of tests in my life that have been trying me and a lot of difficulties and a lot of pressuring situations that have really pushed me, a lot of decisions I've had to make, um, you know, a lot of tough decisions I've had to make that like help me find myself more and help me love myself more and help me prove to myself that I do love myself you know, I've had to make some really tough decisions in many areas of my life. And I feel like those have been taking up all my my mental capacity, if that makes sense. Like, it's, it's just taking up so much space in my brain that it's like, what left is there? Like, what, what can I do with what's left? How, what can I create with what's left? And the answer is not much, you know, not much. And because of that, I've just felt so stagnant. I felt so stagnant. And I think this moment right here was just a reflection of like what I've been doing, what I've been doing in every other area of my life outside of creating, do you know what I mean? Like this moment to me was just like a, like a push where it's like, are you gonna break or are you gonna keep going? Are you gonna break or are you gonna keep going? It's like that, it's like I'm asked that question every other day. Are you gonna break or are you gonna keep going? And it's so hard. Oh, it's so hard because all I want to do is sit down and break all the time. I haven't. I kind of have, I guess. Maybe I, maybe I have, you know, because I, I have. I don't know. Have I? <laughs> have I? I don't know. I guess I haven't. YouTube doesn't define me. 
YouTube does not define me and I feel like I allow it to define me. I, I give it so much weight. Um, and because of that, I feel like because I haven't posted, that equates to me giving up and being a failure. Fun fact, right now I'm passing this, this, uh, this place called Penny's, downtown Toronto. It's this yellow place on the side. I met a random man at the park a couple weeks ago, Trinity Bellwoods, if you're familiar with Toronto. He came up to me and he asked me, I was this Ukrainian guy, he had a thick accent, I don't know how to do his accent, but he had a thick accent. He was attractive, not my type at all. I don't really date white men. He was attractive though. Asked me out, you know, I went out with him to that spot on the spot and uh, we had a follow up date. He was such a gentleman, he was a sweetheart, kissed my hand, held my bags, ooh, did all of it, bought me a drink, you know, well, bought me a couple of drinks. He was such a sweetheart. Anyways, we had our follow-up date, and um, 20 minutes before the date, he asked me if it was okay that uh, his girlfriend came along. I said, Girl girlfriend? <laughs> I already didn't want to go out with you, and now you're telling me you have a girlfriend? <laughs> what? I didn't say that, but like I texted him, and I was like, ah, you never mentioned you had a girlfriend. He's like, haha, happens. And I said, not interested. Anyways. Yeah, that happened. Anyways, I am tired of being tested. I just, I'm tired. How many times do I have to prove to the universe that I am not gonna break, you know? Before the universe is like, all right, let's, let's bless you with some abundance, you know? I'm tired, I'm tired, and I feel like giving up a lot of the times on everything and I, I almost got there I almost did like I was literally lying around for like a month and a half just sat on my couch watching TikToks like I'm not joking that's all I was doing just watching fucking TikToks I wasn't even making TikToks like I was struggling you know and um, I feel like right now I'm finally ready to jump back into things and that's why I nearly lost it just now because it's like it took all of this for me to sit down in the car and film a video for the first time in like two months. And the second I do that, my AC doesn't want to work, but it always works, you know? It, it's, that'll do something to you. That, that will, just like, you just gotta question it. Be like, what does this mean? Am I not supposed to do this right now? Am I not meant to create right now? Like, why, why is this happening? You know, I, I can't help but question it and be frustrated. As much as I don't want to admit that, like, it just, it pissed me off. It pissed me off, like, I mean, very evidently so, but um, it made me want to turn off my camera. And I'm glad it didn't do that. I'm glad I didn't get there. Um, I guess you guys got to see a, a more vulnerable side of me. Like, the anger wasn't actual anger, it was more frustration. I don't really like getting angry. I just kind of like. I get frustrated, but I'm like, ah! but I'm not like actually angry to my core. It's just like kind of fun to be pissy in a way, but I don't actually mean it. Like if you come to me and you try to talk to me, I'm not going to like be an angry person at that moment. I'm just like, kind of like, ah, I'm fine. I'm just like, you know, um, actual anger doesn't really sit with me. Uh, it's not an emotion that I feel like I ever need to take on, but sometimes I can be dramatic, you know? My emotions and people might think I'm angry but if they really know me they know that I'm just like I don't know anyways I guess like this is not the purpose of the video but it's kind of gotten here I know shit feels difficult I know it does and I know it is um, but I think it's really important to sit with yourself and just ask yourself like what is this teaching me I've talked about this on my channel before we're like just it's important to shift that perspective from like why is this happening to me to why is this happening for me or is this happening for me or how is this happening for me or what is this teaching me you know like there's so many different ways to go about that question where it's like you don't victimize yourself you know everything happens for a reason you know there's a lesson within everything a teaching within everything and you just have to be able to find the answers within yourself and that's why I think meditation is so important because it helps you look within with a clearer perspective so that you can answer these questions on your own so you don't have to stress when your therapist left you to go to Australia for a month. True story, yeah, she's gone. She's been gone. She's back on September 2nd. There's a lot I gotta tell her, you know, that I would love to hear her perspective on. Um, but as of right now, I am, I'm okay. 
wish I was a little better, but I'm okay, you know? And that's what really matters. I guess back to some quick updates. I mean, let's do some like quick rapid updates maybe. Um, okay. I am strongly leaning towards going back to school. That's big. Um, I'm now working on editing my series, which is very exciting. I caught feelings for someone who was completely unattainable. Woohoo! <laughs> I went to Jamaica. That was a great time. That was so fun. Yeah, I told you I got a new job. I'm looking for a full-time job, which is insane. I've never had a full-time job in my life, which is wild. And I am not really that depressed anymore, which is nice. I'm getting by. Getting by. I wouldn't say that I'm like the happiest that I could be. But, you know, I'm also getting a lot more in tune with my spirituality again, which is nice. Um, so I think it'll be easier for me to make spiritual content now that I feel like I'm kind of getting back to that version of myself. So that's cool. Um, and I guess that's, that's pretty much it for this video. It kind of turned into something that I didn't expect that it would, but hey, here I am. I have arrived to my destination. And I am gonna go, but I will be back looking cute as ever um, in my living room filming some content. And I will see ya when I see ya. Bye bye now.